smile at the sunshine and the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open so that I can hear the sound of Welcome back to another video. Welcome to today's vlog. So, um, turn this fan off, it's cold in here. Um, I just made breakfast, as you guys can tell. So, I just tried for like the first time the Aldi um, sourdough toast. Y'all, it is so good. I really love the one from Target too, but I just picked this one up like on a whim. And I'm so glad I did because it's so good. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to eat a slice of sourdough toast and eggs for the rest of my life. Because it's that good. Um, I've already had a coffee. Used my Good Morning Sunshine cup. I got the cup at Target. It's by the Threshold brand. If you're wondering. If you're curious. Um, and yeah, I'm getting ready to have a little bit of breakfast. It looks so good. And then I just have some water that I'm drinking. Um, I really love these mason jars. If I'm not drinking out of a bottle to track my ounces, then I'll drink it from a mason jar to track my ounces. That way I can see how much I'm taking in. So that's 12 ounces of water. I'm gonna try it down with my sourdough toast. And then um, I've just been tracking it. I've been using the Carb Manager, um, what is it called? Carb Manager app. I really like it. You can track your water, your exercise, your steps. Um, your food obviously all the things in there and it's completely free and it's really really user friendly and it, it is helping to keep me motivated I've been using it for about a week now so I figured I would mention it because I've been enjoying it um, I've used it on and off I've never ever been consistent with tracking my food but sometimes it just makes me feel good to track my food and see how I'm doing for the day see exactly what I'm putting in my body so anyway um, today is probably just gonna be a day in the life working from home as you guys can see um, it's been a very slow morning which i'm grateful for but uh yeah i wanted to greet the vlog say good morning you guys if this looks familiar if this spot looks familiar it's because i am getting um a grocery haul uploaded and i did have to film my intro and outro this morning um that's just what works best for me a lot of times it's all i can do to just get the grocery haul filmed and then i have to film the intro and outro at a different time so i went ahead and did that this morning and i just kind of feel like vlogging and bringing y'all along who knows this might turn into a what i eat in a day cooking with me who knows where the day will take us but we're just gonna go with it we're just gonna roll with it and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna enjoy my breakfast watch a little bit of youtube and just kind of wait on work to come through so i figured out what i want to do for dinner we're gonna do i was gonna do potato soup at first i don't know if i said that earlier in this video but at first i thought we were gonna do potato soup i was pretty sure that's what we're gonna do because it's crock pot meal so it's easy and then it's just good it's something we love we love potato soup um but i need a can of cream of chicken for the recipe that i use and i don't have that can so um i'm gonna have to run to the store and get a can of cream of chicken soup today or tomorrow or something but i'm not making potato soup today instead i am making smothered chicken legs with rice and broccoli so we're going to eat the smothered chicken legs over rice i have the chicken pulled out right here and i just set it on a plate and then it literally just sits up here on my counter we'll be tackling that today sinks full of dishes which literally is it's second nature around here i mean i know y'all can relate dishes you load your dishwasher and you feel like you look back and your dishwasher your sink is full again 
so anyway need to handle that um got the chicken sitting out i just like i said i put it on a plate that way it can thaw out room temp um if i wanted it to thaw in the refrigerator i should have moved it down yesterday but i didn't because i had my mindset on soup for dinner but last minute change still have plenty of time it's only 11 38 and i pulled this out before 11 o'clock so it'll be good to go right around when i start cooking i'll probably start cooking at 6 30 because my husband walks in the door just before eight so the food will be ready right after he walks in the door so um my plan my goal at least is to bring you guys along for dinner tonight i have another video that i need to edit another vlog that i filmed on today's monday i think i filmed that vlog on saturday so i need to um edit that video so it can go up for y'all tomorrow and then this video will go up in a couple days so um a couple things i need to do i think the washer stopped and i need to um move the clothes over to the dryer my husband asked me to do that for him so let's see oh yeah there's whites in the dryer and i don't think um no they're not dry let's see still have white clothes in the dryer but they're not dry so i'm going to turn this dryer on and give them another 45 minutes to an hour we'll see and there's nothing in the washer okay so i just need to put the whites away load the dishwasher um and then we'll do some dinner later on today um everything else is taken care of i scooped the litter i don't know what my boys had going on last night tmi but i woke up and that litter box was full okay i don't know i don't know what they had going on but they <laughs> they used that litter box um the bedroom's clean Mm, hubby put on some eucalyptus in here so it smells really good <sighs> bedrooms all nice and clean we have these um let me show you guys what they look like we have these eucalyptus uh, eucalyptus wow we have these little humidifiers that we got from where's uh target love these so much and they were on sale for 15 dollars, and they work really well they're nothing fancy um there's a picture of me my hubby has by his bedside and then this is the oils that i buy um naturo bliss and i love the eucalyptus it's my favorite scent my husband likes tea tree a lot we like peppermint a lot can you kind of tell the vibe we go for um all about like mental clarity it helps this invigorates a lot of people this actually helps us sleep we find it really calming and really I don't know it just winds us down if you guys notice my dr teal's soak is also eucalyptus and it just like relieves tension in our body calms us down relaxes us and before we know it we're sleeping good so this is what he has going in our uh what are these called diffusers and i love it so much i got it off amazon i don't know if i can find a link for it i will but this was a really good price because you get this big like you can see how big it is in my hand it's four ounces and it comes with a dropper so you just put the dropper in there and squeeze it out um you just put a little bit in your diffuser and this was ten dollars and if you guys know um obviously we're not using any high quality oils or whatever but the little store-bought oils they're like four and five dollars for like one ounce one and a half ounces so you get this big big bottle for like somewhere between eight and ten dollars on amazon so if i can find a link i will get it for y'all but anyway went on a little rant about that but i did want to open up the windows in here um i don't know it's just something about the daylight it, it just it, it just does it for me okay let's get a window open and i wrap my <laughs> curtain around this lamp because it just it works and it keeps it out the way I just I literally wrap the curtain the lighting's bad I wrap the curtain around the lamp so it just stays open but it's our back patio and outside it's so pretty outside today so have to have to open up the open up the de open up the window oh my god I can't talk words are hard I open up the window so we can get some daylight in here and then of course out here y'all we get plenty 
of daylight. I don't know what I'm gonna do for lunch. It's almost 12 and I'm not necessarily starving. I probably won't even eat lunch until around one. Um, but I'm thinking about making like a sub in a tub. If you guys have a Jimmy John's or I think it's Jimmy John's that does it. Jersey Mike's might do it too, I don't know. But it's essentially like the low carb version of having a sub. And I have everything I need for a sub except the bread, so I might do that. Yeah, that sounds really good. Having like a low carb sub in a tub type of vibe. Um, so if I make that, I'll bring you guys along for how I make it. Um, and then I'll let you guys know how I feel about it. Maybe we'll do like a little taste test or something. But I think that's what I'm gonna do for lunch because my breakfast this morning was low carb. I'm not doing keto or anything. Um, but me and my husband are on a little bit of like a little just trying to be more mindful of what we're eating trying to be more mindful about our calorie intake our carb intake our sugar intake um and things of that nature so anyway this morning i had um a pretty decent breakfast i just had one piece of toast and some eggs and then i think for lunch i'm gonna do a low carb option and just make my sub in a tub i'll bring you guys along for that in case you've never seen it um this will be my first time making it, so I don't know. Hopefully it'll come out good. I mean, you can't really mess it up. You dump all the things in a bowl, mix it up, and you eat it like a salad, essentially. So, and who doesn't love a sub? I love everything on the sub, so. Yeah, I will make that for lunch, and then, like I said, I will show you guys how I make it, and then maybe I'll do a little taste test, and we'll see how I feel about it, because if I like it, then it may be something that I'll eat um, regularly so and then i already talked about dinner um more than likely i'll bring you guys along in the kitchen and show you guys how i make the smothered chicken i got a ache inside of me it's a deep hole where i bleed oh can i see you lit you're like an ocean without land not a single grain of sand i'm drifting on it so cold And um, as you guys just saw, I did about 20 minutes of just like walking here at home. Um, I actually learned of a lady, her name is Leslie Sansone, um, and her YouTube channel is called Walk At Home or Walk In Home, something like that. Um, and my friend Haley, um, I talk about her all the time, she um, loves her videos and she has been doing Leslie Sansone's videos forever. Um, and I really like them. There's all kinds of videos on there from like beginners, you want to walk 5-10 minutes, um, slow walking, nothing strenuous, all the way through to um, a little more experienced um, or like high impact um, walking. So I just did about 20 minutes of that. I'm actually on my lunch. It's 1 o'clock. So I'm going to take this opportunity for my 30 minute lunch and I'm going to actually get the dishwasher loaded. Um, Fold up the whites, get those put away, and that's it. And then watch a little bit of um, YouTube. I've been watching Steph on YouTube. Um, I love her so much. She's Steph Thompson, and she's doing her Vlogmas, and she is an Aussie. She's from Australia. Her and her husband, Matt, live in Australia. Her husband's from New Zealand, um, but they live in Australia. She's like a best friend of mine. I love her so much. We talk all the time. So I've been catching up on her Vlogmas today, and I'm actually on the one that she just posted today well seven hours ago for me yeah so she posted it like the middle of the night here in america um but i'm kind of sad because i don't have any to watch like i've waited like three four days so i had lots of vlogmas to watch and i don't have anything more to watch of her so i'm gonna finish this video up and like i said i want to tackle the kitchen and put the laundry away real quick and yeah i'll probably walk another 15 or 20 minutes later on today but i'm not gonna film that because i'm sure it looks really funny with me walking sped up <laughs> on a b-roll so anyway um i've been doing pretty good today i'm not putting too much stress on myself i'm just doing what feels good so i'm working on cups number six and seven of my water because i've taken in 
there it is I've taken in five glasses of water and um, I've tracked my walking and then tracking my food that I've eaten so far for the day so I haven't had any lunch I'll probably just eat chicken soup chicken little soup I have a Campbell's chicken little soup in there and it is like low calorie um, low carb low fat all the things and it tastes really good so let me not waste away my little 30 minutes because it goes about like that super grateful I take lunch from home because man 30 minutes it just blows by so anyway let me go ahead and tackle the kitchen and the whites that we washed and then probably can't finish up Steph's video I've got 12 minutes left of that video so that's actually perfect I can fit that in at the tail end of my lunch and like I said probably fix myself a little chicken noodle soup but I'll have to eat that here at the desk because by the time I get that done after I handle everything else my lunch will be over but I'm home so I can just eat whenever I want so anyway everything I needed to do while I was on lunch and I still had like 10 12 ish minutes to spare and I did not eat I just sat down relaxed watched YouTube text people just chilled out for a few minutes but now I am going to make my lunch which is a sub in a tub so it's 150 and I went ahead and prepped all my things um, and I'm honestly just stepping away in between like while I'm working um, to prep all this and get it all done so now I want to show you guys everything that I have laid out and then also how I'm gonna make a dressing for the sub alright so here I've cut up some uh, ham this is provolone cheese two slices of provolone cheese I usually would put two slices on like a sub roll so you just use everything like you would on a normal sub you just cut it up so I have ham some provolone cheese some onion um, and some pickles again however much to your liking or if you don't like it then you don't put it on there and then if you like tomato you can dice up some tomato and put it on here as well and then I have lettuce right here that I'm going to put in the bottom of my bowl and then for the dressing I'm going to use mayo 
this submarine dressing and some of the juice off of these pepperoncinis and then I'm going to mix that together and I'm going to toss my lettuce in that and then um, I'm also going to slice up some of these. These are already sliced but I want to dice them up so they're bite sized like mixed up in a chopped salad so I'm going to um, cut up some of these pepperoncinis and put them on this plate as well and then like I said use some of this liquid with some mayonnaise and then some submarine dressing mix it up in here probably and then put my lettuce in here and toss the lettuce in that dressing and then I'll just put my toppings on top of that bed of lettuce super excited about it so let's go ahead and get it made oh I'm I'm eyeball I'm eyeballing excuse me all of this um I don't have any measurements or anything but I'm just gonna eyeball it all um I also will probably do some salt pepper and oregano as well My battery died y'all but here is a little sub salad i figured i would go ahead and try it on here with you guys i hate to like chew on camera so but i'm going to give it a try i'm gonna make sure i get a bite of everything and y'all these pickles are by the cleveland cleveland kitchen and i just saw them at walmart in my last in my grocery haul that went up today i talk about them but I actually just tried them today when I opened the pack to make the sub and oh my gosh they are so good if you love pickles if you're kind of pickle bougie you know you prefer like a deli style pickle a garlicky pickle a fresh pickle you will love these but anyway I think I have a bite of everything on here and I mean you you can like dress your salad however you want um, less dressing more dressing add like tomato in here um, my husband likes banana peppers. I like spicy brown mustard on my subs, but I forgot to add that, but I'm sure that would be good. Literally whatever you want to add. So let's go ahead and give this a taste. Mm -hmm. mm. Y'all, we done started something, okay? We done started something. Oh, it's so good. It's a, it's a sub. It's a sub. It's a sub in a bowl, sub in a tub. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm not doing keto by any means, but like I had mentioned earlier in the vlog, we're, I'm just trying to be mindful of what I'm eating. So this is zero carbs, zero completely, right? Yeah, everything, zero carbs. This is gonna fill me up so much, it's so big. If you have a salad mix at home, and maybe you don't have shredded lettuce, but you have like romaine, or you have iceberg, or like whatever, that would work great. It doesn't need to be shredded lettuce. That's just what we had, and then I didn't pick up um, buns. I'm kinda glad I didn't, like this is so good, it's giving me that sub fix without having the carbs so y'all I'm gonna go sit down and enjoy this as you can tell I'm enjoying it it's very good um, and if you haven't made one maybe you've heard of it you just haven't made one or maybe 
you've never heard of it like I hadn't heard of it until recently here I think Haley shared it my other friend Haley 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 Cooper oh my god I'm like why can't I think of her name Haley Cooper she's on YouTube at home with Haley she shared this on one of her videos she does Weight Watchers um so this was like a Weight Watchers like lunch prep that she did one day um, but then my friend earlier I was talking about about the Leslie Sansone walk at home videos that's Haley Weiss w-e-i-s-s -S. so anyway Haley Cooper at home home with Haley um, she talked about this one time on her channel and that was my first time I had ever heard of a sub in a tub I was like what is that so anyway finally trying it it is so good this is this is about to be on rotation this is gonna be lunch and dinner I might have another one tonight but anyway it looks really good I'm done talking about my food. I'm going to go sit down and enjoy this in between calls and working. And I will check back in with you guys in just a little bit. Y'all, I just realized I haven't picked up the camera probably since I told y'all about my sub in a tub. It was so good. It. I want another one. <laughs> it was so good. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, I am... I'm done with work for the day. It's 4.42. And y'all you still gonna watch my channel i hope y'all still love me this is just this is just this is just what i look like today i'm not i'm not i'm not gonna go change and refilm this this is what i look like today i was going to make potato soup like i talked about earlier but then i was like i don't have cream of chicken i'm missing an ingredient cool so i guess i'll make smothered chicken y'all the smothered chicken i need a can of cream of chicken for that as well so guess who's still finna leave and go to aldi so she can get two cans of cream of chicken because I need one for tonight and then I need one for tomorrow because I'm probably going to make potato soup tomorrow. I already done told my husband that I changed the meal to smothered chicken um, and he seemed super excited about it so I'm not going to say never mind we're having soup and I make it in the crock pot so it's too late to make soup anyway because you need to let it go in the crock pot for five hours. So um, let's leave. Well let's leave. I'm leaving the camera here but I'm gonna run to the store pick up some cream of chicken and I think I'm gonna get some butter like cheap butter like a small thing of butter because what we have is not going to last us because I made um the TikTok spaghetti in my last vlog that took a stick of butter um I made cinnamon rolls TikTok cinnamon rolls I need to get off of TikTok because it's not good for my health um that took extra butter and all the things we use butter on toast and i just don't think this butter is going to last um another week and a half so i might pick up a little bit of extra butter and then also get some cream of chicken so i will get back with you guys when i get back home um i don't know what i'm going to be doing between now and when i start cooking but whatever i do i bring the camera along if this is kind of just the end of the vlogging and then i just bring you guys along in the kitchen for my smothered chicken recipe then that's what i will do i probably won't show you guys how i make rice and how i make broccoli because that's pretty self-explanatory but i'm just going to make white rice my husband is a country boy at heart raised on white rice just like my mama just like me white rice so he wants it over white white rice and then um i'm just gonna steam some broccoli we all know how to steam broccoli we all know how to make white rice so i will at least show you guys how i'm going to do my smothered chicken everyone makes smothered chicken different and there's a million ways to make it i'm just gonna show you guys the way i'm planning to make it tonight so i will get back with you guys a little bit later Close your eyes Get some rest I'm by your side Lay your head on my chest I know you've had
take you guys through this with me step by step kind of talking y'all through it um but instead what happened was I ended up on the phone and it was like a much needed conversation and I it was just a much needed conversation so um I figured I would just film like montage of me like getting the chicken ready and all that and now I figured I would talk to y'all about the chicken so like you guys saw I used all those spices to season the raw meat and then from there I seared the chicken legs in the skillet um, to kind of get like a seasoned base on the skillet. I'll put some oil in there and kind of let the bottom get brown. I cut up one whole onion. Use more or less or none based on if you like onion. And I sauteed that in the skillet. And then once that got browned up real good, I just put, I would say, half a cup, maybe a whole cup. But probably half a cup of chicken stock in the bottom of the skillet, in the skillet with the onions and then from there I sprinkled in like a teaspoon like not much flour at all but just enough um maybe like right out of tablespoon worth of flour maybe um sprinkle that in there on the onions I sprinkled that in first and then I added the half cup of chicken stock you know let stir all that together let that get all like thickened with the flour and then I dumped two cans of cream of chicken in there with that like onion roux mixture and I stirred that together real good and you'll have to work it in because the cream of chicken needs to work into all that liquid and then once you get it all worked in and smooth you just dump it over your chicken and when you get done searing your chicken on each side it's not going to be done you just put it in a casserole dish and then I put the smothering over top um, the onion and cream of chicken smothering. I just dumped it all over top. Now I'm going to stick this in the oven. I'm doing 375 and I'm going to, I think I'm going to cover this and I'm going to let this cook for like 40-ish minutes and then I'll come check on it. But I'm going to cover it so everything can kind of stay steamy and moist and condensed inside and then I'll uncover it and let it go for another like 10-ish minutes at the very end. And then, um, once this is almost done, I will steam some broccoli and make some rice. So yeah, like I said, I'm really sorry that I didn't um, bring you guys along step by step along the way as I was making it, like I promised. But I, sometimes you need to have a good old heart to heart with, with some friends. And so that's what I did. That's what I was doing. So I figured showing you guys as much as I, uh, showing you guys some steps on the montage and then getting on here and telling you guys how I did it later on. Hopefully that helps. This is like a homemade recipe. This is not something I found anywhere. This is just basic smothered chicken that I'm going to throw in the oven and put it over some rice. Y'all, my dishwasher is very loud, so just ignore that. But here is the chicken. It is all done and it is cooked through. I just got like a little bit of a film on top of it, but just ignore that. I um, took the cover off of it and I let it cook in the oven for about um, 10 minutes, 15 minutes without the aluminum over top. So I did cover it and cook it with aluminum for 
uh, 40 minutes and then I took the aluminum off and let it go another 10, 15 uncovered and it's done. Okay. And then when I took the aluminum off, I did base it with the gravy and then I'm just doing that again just to keep it moist and seasoned and covered. So over here, I have rice and broccoli going back there. Chicken looks good. The gravy is going to be delicious over the rice. I do have some rice going here. And then back here, I've got some broccoli just steaming in a little pot. Just enough for me and Hubs to eat on the broccoli tonight. And then I'll probably steam a little bit of broccoli for his lunch tomorrow. Unless he decides he just wants leftover chicken over some leftover rice. So that is what dinner is looking like right now currently. So sorry for that. Um, and I'll show you guys what it looks like once it's plated. And then that will probably be the end of today's vlog. Okay, here's what dinner looks like, y'all. Smothered chicken legs over white rice and just some broccoli. I don't know why I have it all stacked on one side of the plate. But anyway, it looks really good. It smells really good. So this is what we're having for dinner. This is my husband's plate. I'll probably have one, maybe two legs. Um, and then less rice and then the other part of the broccoli. So... That is our dinner tonight. All right, guys, I'm gonna end out the video. Babe, say hey to the vlog. He just got off work, he's tired. I'm tired too, it's been a long day for me too. So I'm going to fix my plate, end out this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for coming along for my day. Um, I didn't think I'd be getting into too much and then I was starting to get a little discouraged about my dinner because I literally had no ingredients for the two dinners I wanted to make but it all worked out I kept pushing through I vlogged I'm happy I did I hope you guys enjoy coming along in the kitchen with me I've been doing that more frequently here and I hope you guys have been enjoying that if you have let me know and I'll keep doing that for you guys for sure um, me and Hubby are gonna sit down we might watch a little bit of first 48 enjoy our dinner um, and then you know the drill take a shower head off to bed so I will talk to you guys a little bit later who knows I might pick the camera up again sometime this week it's only monday so yay for a monday vlog beginning of the week and then um yeah i hope to see you guys really soon for another video do not forget to go check out my previous vlogs that i posted i posted the christmas dinner vlog and then i have another vlog that i'm working on right now that's going to be going up soon along with the grocery haul i love you guys so much i will talk to y'all in my next video bye bye Let its unsaid words be spoken And I'll let my mind